Good morning everyone. It is a very early start to the day today. It's 6.30 in the morning. We don't usually get up this early. We're on an island called Tablas. It's uh, north of Boracay. We ended up getting a ferry from Cataclan. We got up this early because we're in the south of the island and we need to head to the north because we're going to be doing a private boat trip just for me and Carol. So there's a town I think called Calatrava and it's about two hours from here. So yeah, we rented a scooter yesterday and we got to head up to the town now on the, on the scooter. So yeah, it's going to be a long ride and then we'll do the boat trip. Hopefully it'll be worth it. So here's our ride, the scooter, pink scooter, pink top. Carol's not a morning person, so no. I can only film her two hours after we wake up. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, let's head out anyway. Check this out, there's no wing mirrors. Safety first. So we just stopped quickly at the side of the road here. You get a sore butt after a long time on the on the scooter. And this is how a lot of the island looks. It's absolutely beautiful here. So loads of rice fields, the palm trees. How's your butt, Carol? It hurts. <laughs> I just realized you've got a GoPro thing on top of your helmet. Oh, really? Yeah. Do I? No. No? <laughs> how long we got left now? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, almost there. So we're on the boat now, it's going to cost 1,500 pesos for the trip and I think we still need to pay some fees when we visit the islands and different beaches so I'll let you know how much those cost. Here's our little private boat here, we're just about to leave Calatrava port and before we left we just went to one of the bakeries, yeah, I got some like muffins, some bread here called pan de sal. And I think that was all around 40 pesos with a bottle of water. So yeah, we're heading out now. Off we go. What's the name of this island? Uh, Gindawahan. What? Gindawahan. Gindawahan. <laughs> I said that wrong. So we have arrived at island number one. I have no idea what the name is. The guy said it back there, but I'll write it down. And this is what I call a real deserted island. Literally nobody here at all. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Water looks amazing as well loads of corals here so I imagine it's pretty good for snorkeling even the beach is full of corals and shells yeah so it was even hard for us to do this tour they said because tourism's low right now I think because of the virus and stuff there was nobody else to do the the tour with 
But the lady said she could put us in contact with like a, a local guy with a boat and that's what she did. So yeah, now we're here. Hey Carol, I don't think we've ever done an island hopping tour like this before, right? No, like, I think we can stop Tablas, it's, uh, it's not a touristic place. It's yeah, it's not place, so popular. So, yeah, it's not so popular. So this part of the beach here is literally just all coral. All this is just broken up corals. And then there in the distance is Tablas, so that's the, the main island there. Just like some big wild area. So it looked beautiful when we was coming around the coast there. Carol's been coral, no shell collecting, right? Yeah, Got some. I love this kind of shell. The ones with the mouth? Yeah, it's the same <laughs> that I have in my necklace. Oh yeah, the little shell. That one matches your top. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this one, it's the same as Carol. <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> It's kind of weird. I went to fly the drone now and the signal was absolutely horrible. There was loads of interference that kept cutting out. So yeah, I'm not sure how the shots were. Kind of weird because we're in the middle of nowhere. Normally interference is when there's loads of buildings, people using Wi-Fi and stuff because the drone uses a Wi-Fi signal or even loads of boats, but there's absolutely nothing here at all. Sometimes it's bad when there's loads of power cables and stuff. But yeah, I've never had it when we've been in a deserted place. So yeah, kind of strange. I'll have to see how it is later in a different location. Thank you. So our next stop, right next to the island, uh, we're back on the mainland of Tablas now. I think it's called Tinagong Dagat. So it's this lake here. This is a saltwater lake. Once again, nobody here at all. <laughs> the deserted boat trip. <laughs> yeah. Can actually see a big blue starfish there. Let me check it out. Yeah, it's a lot warmer than the, the sea back there. It's kind of funny because it's a lake, but it just feels like I'm in the, in the sea right now because the shells, bits of coral, stuff like that, algae as well. So it's just the same as being in the, in the sea. So we're just walking along these cliffs now and that's the island we were on before. Get a better view of it from over here. So yeah, you can just walk around all this place. Really awesome place to explore. Okay, he's gonna jump. Hi. Ready?
Alright, I'm going for it again. Pretty steep. Back on the boat. <sighs> Pretty awesome so far, right? Beautiful. So different. <laughs> Looks amazing here. <laughs> right, on to the next unknown destination. Carol, we found the mini El Nido of Tablas. Yeah. I had no idea there was places like this. Yeah, I saw some pictures, but I thought it would be like smaller, but these ones are nice and big. <laughs> yeah. Look at that El Nido Quran style limestone mountains. Yeah, guys, we have definitely found a gem in this place. So this place isn't called Mini El Nido. It's actually called Lapus Lapus. So possibly the nicest place around here, I think, from what I'm seeing. I don't understand how this place isn't more popular. Yeah, it's funny because when we were in the Philippines last year, uh, a lot of Filipinos were telling us, oh, Philippines is so big, there are so many islands and so many places, amazing places, and yeah, <laughs> I believe they are right, and now we are trying to see some of those places. Yeah, so even if you go off the beaten path in the Philippines, you still find stuff like this. And this is why Philippines is number one for us. Anywhere else in the world, this kind of stuff here would be 
one of the main attractions, but there's just so much, so many islands here, 6,000. There's only us here. Yeah, we haven't seen a single tourist. Yeah, no, no other boats doing, doing tours or anything, just us. Yeah, even when we were on the mot motorbike, two hours, not a single tourist. There you go, guys, come to Tablas, it's the next big place in the Philippines. <laughs> So we've probably been here easily over an hour now, probably like an hour and 30 minutes. There's no real time limit for us to stay at each part. The the guy hasn't really said anything. I think he's sleeping right now actually, him and his kids. <laughs> so yeah, he's not in any rush at all and neither are we. Obviously that's a good thing about doing the private tour as well, even though we ended up doing it by accident. Because if we do the group tours, usually they always give you around like 30, 45 minutes. Sometimes some places give you an hour, but I don't know, sometimes it feels rushed, but here, yeah, you're able to just soak it in. So yeah, private tour is good. And for that price, probably the cheapest tour that we've ever done in the Philippines. I think that's $30 for the two of us. So that's crazy. And we're definitely going to tip the, the boat driver. We always tip anyway for meals and stuff, but yeah, this, um, this should be more expensive, I think for, for what we get in. So probably give him like $5 extra or something. He deserves it. <laughs> Here we have the beach dog. <laughs> Hello beach dog. Oop. Man, that's some spicy dogs. The beach dogs. Oh, oh, it's the coolest dogs, the beach dogs. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> we were unsure if there's going to be more stops. We thought we might be going, yeah, back home. But we've come to a place called Cove Aurelium. And this one has a, a restaurant back there. So we just ordered some fish right now. And this is similar to the last one. So you have the... El Nido style landscape still. Look at that. This place is truly amazing. How much did you say the fish was? 200 something. For both of us, right? Yeah, just like a big fish. Yeah, big fish. So cheap. Yeah. So check it out. Here's the meal. Got this big red snapper here. Looks pretty juicy inside. And we got some the vegetables here that they made and rice <laughs> Thank you.
so I didn't film any more after that last beach that was pretty much the end of the trip anyway we just got back on our scooter and headed yeah two hours back down to the south of Tablas the island it's been a really long day but an amazing day I was talking with Carol and saying this has probably been one of the best travel days that we have ever done in our lives I think it was just yeah completely amazing we've never been to something so remote I think and had like all the places to ourselves like that so yeah a truly amazing experience and tomorrow we've actually got another day in Tablas we decided to extend the plan tomorrow is that we're going to explore more of the south part that we're in do some more beach hopping no boat tour though we'll just go around uh, on the scooter exploring so yeah that's what's coming up so if you like this video just drop a like on it to help support us follow us on instagram if you like to see where we're traveling in real time subscribe to this channel if you like to see more videos like this one and we'll see you in the next one